Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on the DC TV shows. Today we're going to be talking about a bunch of our shows, and we've got some questions we're going to be answering. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so the first question comes from Peter Simone on YouTube. I think that's how you say your name, sorry if I got it wrong. Who asks, do you think Batwoman will get cancelled? So... I think this is a very relevant question because lots of us are a bit kind of scared going into season 2 with obviously Ruby Rose leaving the show, her not being recast and actually just throwing away Kate Kane. Kate Kane will disappear, that will be a big part of the mystery in season 2 even though we kind of know what happened to her, you know, she just went away because Ruby didn't want to do the show. So, you know, we've been kind of questioning what happens in season 2, we've got this new main character. What happens if the fans tune out? Like, what happens if the fans don't like the show anymore? What happens if it doesn't work? Like, there is a chance it doesn't work. Because imagine, like, Supergirl, The Flash, or Arrow having a season one, and then, like, the main character just goes, like, Steven goes, Melissa goes, or Grant goes. Imagine the show from then on. It's kind of crazy to think about. So, I don't know how it's going to turn out with Batwoman season two. I'm kind of excited to see what way they go ahead with this because it's very unprecedented, the situation they're in. So, you know, the idea of it being cancelled is obviously in people's heads, but the main factor is they're not going to cancel the show because they've paid a lot of money to get the Batwoman character and to get all these characters and to actually get this show up and running and they're committed to this season 2 with out Ruby Rose with a new person taking over as the lead. And that CW does make a lot of money off of it. It did very well last year, despite, you know, some reports from certain places being like, oh, no, it failed or something. No, it didn't fail. It did very well for the CW. And so there is no reason why it would get cancelled unless the creators just didn't want to continue with this new version of Batwoman. So in terms of the CW and the network, they're not going to cancel Batwoman unless something drastically goes wrong. Okay, so let's move on to the next question. This comes from It's Bamboo 23 on YouTube asks, I'm a sucker for a good love interest and my favourite one in the Arrowverse is Caramel. So is there a way that Chris Wood could come back or is he in contract with a different project? So it's a good question and I've answered and talked about Monel a lot in the past. And I haven't been talking about him much recently because there's not many new questions. But this is a new question and I like it. And I really want to talk about it. I always want to talk about Monel. I would love to make videos on him all the time. But the fact of the matter is there's only so much we can talk about. But yeah, could Chris come back? Yes, there's obviously the chance he could. But considering how busy he is, recently, I don't know if you guys missed it, he booked like a bunch of different stuff. He's going to be the lead on Kevin Smith's Masters of the Universe animated show, I think for Netflix. He's also got this TV show and it's like a pretty prominent TV show with like a pretty big cast. I think it's on NBC. So he is in fact booked up with different projects, like multiple projects. So he is going to be busy. And that is why I don't think he's going to come back anytime soon. He could make a cameo appearance here and there, like maybe next season or something like that. But I really don't see it this season, seeing like Monel come back anytime soon. And to be honest, even though I really want him to stay and become like a series regular again, I really don't see it like in any sort of future. I just think maybe he'll make like one more appearance as Monel in a cameo appearance, and that's about it. So that's the sad truth, but I've feel like it's going to be like that. Alright, so Gary Gammon on YouTube asks, how many episodes do you think they will have per show this season, and will they have less breaks if they have 22 episodes? So, yeah, that's a very, very interesting idea to think about, because they've actually confirmed that they are going to have their normal episode count, so, you know, The Flash would have 22 episodes, Supergirl would have either 20 or 22, they were originally planning for 22 last season, but the fact that Supergirl is coming back to film later, I believe Supergirl is probably going to have 20 episodes. But it should be like Batwoman has 22, Legends has its normal count. Superman and Lois kind of follows what Batwoman did last season in the fact that they have like 13 episodes and then they get confirmed to shoot more and maybe they'll reach 20 or 22 episodes 
Also Black Lightning, you know, probably normal count as well. So I think there's definitely the chance that all our shows can have a normal episode count. Obviously with, you know, the restrictions that they're going to have whilst they're filming, maybe some things change, maybe some cast members aren't in some episodes say they're in more of this episode than the next episode at someone else and like a bunch of other people come back. So obviously we don't know how it's all going to work behind the scenes, but in regards to breaks, I reckon there will still be the same amount of breaks, maybe just not for as long because they are starting later. But yeah, obviously there is the chance that schedules are changed and they aren't able to shoot as many episodes, but if according to what we've heard recently, they should be shooting in the fall, that would mean around September, October time and by you know, the time of January, they're going to have months to do filming. They're going to be well ahead, and I think they can definitely hit 20 to 22 episodes if they want, because they normally film until April, sometime around then, maybe they film till May or something like that, and then they have their break, go back in the summer, and then, you know, have Comic Con and kind of go back to normal. So there is definitely the chance, but there is also the chance that schedules could be changed and they might be like slashed in half maybe every season every show has like 15 16 episodes rather than 20 maybe some have 10 instead of 13 or something like that or instead of 16 we'll have to wait and see but for now mark pedowitz did confirm the president of the cw that they are planning to go ahead as usual okay so the next question comes from failure gaming on youtube who asks do you think black lightning will appear in next year's crossover so obviously black lightning was in the crossover for crisis on infinite earths it was the first time that black lightning was officially part of the arrowverse it has always played on the cw but was never confirmed as part of the arrowverse officially so this was the first time seeing him it was great seeing him he really fit in especially with barry like him and barry made a really good pair so in regards to next year's crossover what they've said is they want to do a crossover between batwoman and the new show superman and lois i don't know how that's going to go ahead with the new batwoman changes so we'll have to wait and see maybe it's on another show but yeah they said and they have confirmed that characters from other shows will pop up in that crossover the crossover will be smaller because they don't have the same amount of time and the fact that crisis was so big I guess they want to go a bit smaller, it's going to be like a two episode crossover, like a two show crossover, and I think there is a chance that Black Lightning shows up, I mean, I think there's less of a chance compared to say like The Flash or Supergirl showing up, but there is still a very high chance because he is one of the main characters on the DC TV shows, he has his own show, and he did appear in the crossover, so I think there is a high chance he appears, but I don't know how likely it is because there is a lot of characters that they're going to have to get to. Okay, so the next question comes from Zara on YouTube who asks, ever since Crisis, there's been a lot of change in Earth Prime. Livewire died in season three. Do you think we'll see her again? So the reason I chose this question is not specifically just for Livewire, but for like any characters, will we see them again? I think there's obviously a chance that we could go back to some of these past characters since crisis basically changed everything multiple earths were combined to create earth prime which is like now our primary earth instead of like just earth one so supergirl is on the same earth as the flash batwoman everything so that was a big change obviously out there is still the multiverse our characters don't know it exists yet so stargirl is on the new earth 2 you know we've got titans doom patrol and all these different places so they are out there and there is a lot of change obviously so in regards to live wire returning yeah there's a chance i don't see how likely it is because they did kill her off after all so maybe they did intend to just like get rid of her you know as a character and not bring her back but there's always a chance for any characters that died in the past to show up again because in fact this is comic book shows and this is superheroes heroes die and heroes come back it's a fact Alright, so thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.